The images you just saw were from last year. Some were shot on an island not far from my home on Kodak's long dead high speed infrared film. And some infrared shots were of Mount Fuji on Konica infrared. I'll be shooting on Konica's long expired infrared film, this time in 35mm. In today's modern world, we want to capture true to life or imitations of the past for nostalgia. And both have a place in an artist's playbook. With this film stock, you can capture something else entirely. You can capture something that few truly comprehend. The difference in this unique art form. You can capture the darkest skies, swallowing whispers of clouds into foliage juddering out into the void. This world can be otherworldly if you step out of your comfort zone and watch as oceans turn black and abyss you dare not enter. Shooting in free transforms not only your work, but the way you come at your artistic endeavours. It requires a whole new ethos to get the most out of this medium. With infrared, you can shoot in a style that many are unfamiliar with. To the untrained eye, they can see that it's black and white but they are unsure why it's slightly unnerving, why it doesn't seem normal. With infrared, you can have your subject, whether it be mountains or cityscapes or buildings, float between the abyss as both the sky and the ocean turn black. And your subject floats within the abyss.
shoot this other world, a recurring thought reverberates inside my skull, echoing away. There are so many ways to experiment with this film, to get a glimpse at the undiscovered world we do not know we reside in. And this is probably why Infrared Film happens to be my favourite. As always, until next time, it's been real guys.